what is she doing? Is she throwing shade at us live on the air? What? So that cake. Kenzel, it's Tristan's birthday today. The cake was for him. We're here. Surprise. Oh. Oh. Well, hello there. Yes, today we are back with the next part of Bad Influence. If you did not see the other ones, catch up on the playlist right here. First off, poor Kendall went on Sally Speaks with her parents because it was supposed to be some interview for her father and the wife, her mother. Well, I don't like calling her mother. The wife. You know about the little mayoral election and all that good stuff. But instead, Miss Sally Speaks is a little too interested in Kendall and trying to make her and the family look bad. The family, like the parents or whatever. But Kendall, it was very just, mm, mm. Then come to find out, Tristan said it. we were picking out a cake for Caitlin's birthday, but come to find out, it's Tristan's birthday. So you know what Kendall did? She went right to his house, knock, 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 and the door opened, and guess who was standing there in a towel dripping? Mr. Tristan. So we're about to see what happens, but please go read the amazing author Eve's stories on the app. Subscribe if you haven't already. And without further ado, let's start the drama. Well, well, well. Look who it is. Oh, we could say the same thing right now. We really could. I parted my lips to speak, but instead a gasp escaped from my mouth. I couldn't believe my eyes. Tristan asked for Wisson in front of me, and this isn't the picture anymore. This is life. This is real definition <laughs> in nothing but a towel. Oh, yes, I resisted the urge to eye his body from top to bottom. But damn, it was hard. Well, his body, which looked like it was perfectly carved by the gods, everything about him screamed hot. Everything from his abs to his collarbone looked fresh. <laughs> and <laughs> y'all think that I think, okay. Mm, his arms where he held his bulging muscles that looked like it could snap a tree in half. The veins <laughs> traveling down his wrists. Uh-huh. Now, I know that I've seen many house before, but this, this was a completely different story. Oh my goodness, are you done staring yet? What? I'm not done yet. <laughs> you just gotta be honest sometimes. You really just, I'm just gotta be honest. The full view. The full view. Girls don't even act disgusted. <laughs> you know what? I should leave. No, you just got here. Come outside, I'll get dressed. Okay, let's go in. Let's celebrate his birthday. Do we just leave Sally Speaks the show? I hope we did. Because after that one was so rude, uh, inside, alone. No, can't let her grant her inside. Don't worry. Hurry up, it's cold out here. Okay, let's go in there. Let's go for a little birthday party. Normally, it would be a bad idea to enter an apartment with three other guys. And if I didn't know them well enough, I would take off in the other direction. But I trusted them. More specifically, I trusted him. He told me he wouldn't let me get hurt. And I believed it. Yes, he's going to do his best. We trust Tristan. Tris, if you will. Hmm. So this is what Tristan's apartment looks like. He lives here alone. It has a dark, mysterious sort of feel. One that matched him well. It was furnished with modern items and it had a classy but not over-the-top look to it. It wasn't really my style. I preferred things more light. I think I see Grant and Kaylan over there. All right, let's get this party started. Let's go the cake we picked out. Kendall, the life of the party has arrived. Finally. Save me. Kaylin's being a pain again. A pain? I thought you were going to dislocate my foot. Stop being dramatic, Kay. We have company. Okay, Liz, this is going to be cute. This is going to be real fun. I think she's ready for this. Hey, guys. Hey, Kendall. How are you? Honestly, so tired. I've had a long day. Yeah, so did I. Kaylin dragged me to the mall to get a gift for Tristan, but we kept fighting over what to get him. We didn't end up getting him anything. I didn't get him anything either. If I'd known it was his birthday, I would have. Wait, so he told you it was my birthday? Yeah. Why'd he lie? That's what we're trying to figure out here. Oh, I know. He just wanted an excuse to bring you along to pick cakes with them. He wanted to set up a romantic moment like that. Romantic? That's a bit too far, Grant. And besides, besides what? I would have gone to pick out cakes with them either way. Ooh, Kendall and Tristan sitting in a tree. Finish that sentence and I'll rip your tongue out. 
How long has he been standing there? I hope he didn't hear anything from the conversation before. That would be like, no, it wasn't that bad. It was fine. Seriously, man. What are we in second grade? You guys have such a way with words. Also, look what I brought. What's, what do we bring? Beer? You brought drinks. Grant, you know you can't drink. Especially after the last time. What does that mean? I definitely can. Don't, don't even do it. Anyways, let's play this game. It's called, Grant, we're not doing any of that. Jeez, it's all because of that girl, right? You drank yourself to unconsciousness to impress her. Uh, I impress her, Kaylin, with this face and this body. I don't even need to impress anyone. You're still full of yourself. Excuse me? Don't let's step outside for a bit. All this arguing is driving me insane. Okay, let's go have a little moment with him. I'm gonna go. Okay, they're arguing. All right. Y'all just... You do you right there. And we're gonna go do Tristan out here. Sorry, I know they can be a lot. Don't be sorry. I'm actually having fun. You're having fun watching that? It was, you know, it, yeah, I mean... Yeah I, yeah, I don't know. I can just tell how genuine your friendship is. Your relationship with those two. And your friends, are they ingenuine? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Well, Sydney is. Willa is almost genuine. No, that's not what I mean. Well, she she is. I'm just a little hurt by the recent actions, but you know, it's fine. It's just nice to see that you have people that are special to you. And knowing how closed off you can be, I mean. And you know what, girl? You have him. Do you have anyone like that that's special to you? You it's Jalen, no, used to be, used to be. You're really going to break up that dick around me, huh? The jealousy jumped out, doll. I've never met someone quite as slow as you. What are you talking about? You know I don't like Jalen, right? But why? What did he do to you? He made you cry. He what? Homecoming, don't you remember? Oh, we remember, all right. We remember, Tristan, is that you? Okay, yes, this is a little flashback scene. You were miserable because of him. Yes, he hates Jalen because of me. Tristan hating the person who broke my heart, it stirred something inside me. You hate him because of that. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, it's not all of it. I can't stand cheaters either. People who lie. People who deceive other people. Tristan. Tristan's getting a little worked up. As I stared into Tristan's eyes, I saw something shine back at me. It wasn't the moonlight. It was the glint of him. The true him. Hurt. Lonely. And haunted by the past. It made my heart ache. Oh, it made me want to comfort him. It made me want to take a little weight off of his shoulders. Are we going to go hug him? I know I might be a little late, but... Happy birthday, Tristan. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry I couldn't get a gift for you. The only thing I can give you is this. What's she doing? What is she doing? <gasps> okay, so we are hugging him. Okay, it's cute. It's cute. Thank you, doll. Oh, yes, I went to the art scene. Yes, please. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Tristan. Are you going to let go of me anytime soon? Shh. Let me stay like this for a while. And so we did. I rested my head against his chest as he mounted his chin on my head. I let my arms loosen while holding my hands together behind his back. He breathed slowly, unmoving for a while. His breath had a faint scent of alcohol, but not one too overwhelming. In fact, it was rather intoxicating. The scent escaping his lips and the husky smell of his body. I could get hooked onto this scent. Suddenly, he let go. Sorry, was that? I paused when I caught him looking straight into my eyes, and I was immediately captivated. This look. I've never seen this look on him before. This look of desire. Oh, desire. What was he about to do? Doll, I... Yeah? W what's about to go on right here? I would. This isn't right. Oh, no, don't turn away. Never mind. Oh, no, 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 no. It's fine. It's fine. Turn back around. I shouldn't. 
You shouldn't what? Shouldn't do what? What are you going to do, Tristan? I shouldn't. I can't. If I did what I was about to do, there would be no going back from there. Oh, I think it's a kiss. I think he's going to say some feelings or he's going to try to initiate a kiss. I have to take this. Oh no, not a phone call. Don't tell me it's the parents. I almost, yes, we almost, we did. What was that? Why did Tristan get so close? Oh girl, and that look he was giving me, it was desire. Now what are we doing? Hello, Bruce. Kendall, where have you disappeared off to? Your parents have to finish the interview themselves now as they should as they should hurry tell me where you are if i can pick you up on time you might be able to make it for the ending i don't want to do none of that the interview that interview i can't tell bruce where i am he's gonna tell my parents and if they find out i was with tristan again oh i'd be seeing hellfire i'm not going back to the interview bruce i'll just go straight home see you you're leaving yeah i have to do you mind driving me home oh dear if she gets caught i can't i had a couple drinks earlier i don't trust myself to drive in the state Good for him. Oh, I should just call a taxi then. Okay, let's do that. Mm. Good evening, San Alfonso. Welcome back to the Sally Speak Show. No one's cheering. Let's continue with our exclusive interview with the one and only McMillan family. And I wouldn't really mind if she was trying to throw all that shade to the parents and stuff. But the fact that she was just bringing Kendall in this, it was just not, I did not, no. So, Mr. McMillan, as you previously mentioned, you think you're famous, right? Who said that? L oh, when did he ever say that? You said that, Sally Speaks. What? I never said that. Then did I make it up or something? Hold on, where is your daughter? Why are you so interested in her? Like, why are you so interested? She's feeling unwell and you made her feel uncomfortable. Interesting, because I was just going to move on to the next topic. A lot of people noticed that you first adopted Kendall when you were putting your foot in the political door. Is it possible you adopted her to build up your reputation? I mean, that's not a lie. But also, keep Kendall's name out of your mouth. Are you kidding me? What kind of question is that? I just, oh, and you think it's funny. Oh, poor Richard is getting demolished tonight. That's what happens when you disrespect me. Sir, we're ready for your skeletons to be dug right out of that closet. Mm. Okay, let's not be doing this, Edmund, because it seems you've done a lot worse things. <laughs> Edmund, oh, little Edmund. My taxi's here. I'll see you around. Yep. Happy birthday again, Tristan. Oh, oh, I thought she was going to, like, give him a little kiss on the cheek or something. What's going on? This girl again? Why are you everywhere? Was that Kendall McMillan coming out of Tristan's apartment? I need to let Edmund know about this. Oh gosh, this girl is so, where can my taxi be? Well, 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 look what we have here. Who is this? Do I remember you? Long time no see, pretty face. Oh, aren't you the creeps? So, mm. yeah, you're the creeps. I thought we taught you a lesson. I thought we taught you a lesson. Looks like we're going to have to teach you another one. And that mercy girl, too. A lot of people. It's time for you all to go down. 